Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Here we are in the second part of a three-part series talking about what each of the top three picks from this year's draft should expect in the rookie seasons. And obviously we'll be talking about another Michigan Wolverine and that will be Matthew Beniers. And we will have a lot to talk about in this video. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, I've heard three different names used for Beniers and it's Matty, Matthew, and Matt. We're just going to call Matt in this video, so just bear with me here. Now let's dive on in. And if you looked up a high energy player in a sports dictionary, Beniers would be in like right there with the definition. And I know that that cliche gets thrown around a lot, especially in hockey. But if you have any doubts, you got to watch film about him on YouTube, whatever you got to do. Because you'll see it. This is a high motor guy that plays the game with everything he's got. Doesn't show any form of laziness, at least from the footage that I've seen. Now, what should we expect for him in his rookie season in Seattle? Well, if he does decide to play for Seattle instead of heading back to Michigan, then he'll be in a perfect fit for a team in terms of work ethic. Really, it's almost like a match made in heaven in terms of what the team provides. This should be a quality defensive team that has an aggressive forecheck, just like Beniers likes. And he will have probably a team that plays a 2-1-2 aggressive forecheck or a 1-3-1 aggressive forecheck. They're going to be a pugnacious team. I said it, pugnacious, and likely have him take the point when he's out there on the ice. The relentless effort can turn into offense, too, as it's not uncommon for his hustle to pay off on the forecheck. The second overall pick had 10 goals and 14 assists in 24 games with the Maize and Blue. He also showcased his skill in the World Juniors and continues to turn heads with his work ethic. Should he expect to play a top six role right away for the Kraken, though, I'm going to say probably not, at least this season. Now, they might decide to shelter him on the third line, but maybe I could see it. I wouldn't be some completely surprised if they give him some top six minutes as the season goes along. He proves himself. He gets this game, at least at the pro level, underneath him a little bit, finds his footing. But he's going to have to expect a flurry of media attention as Seattle's first NHL draft pick and with any second overall pick, you're going to have a bunch of attention, but it gets multiplied when you're on a team that is brand new. While the team will be hardworking and forecheck heavy, they don't have a lot of offensive talent as guys like Yanni Gore, Jared McCann, and Jordan Eberle were probably the most proven offensive players for Seattle. I'm probably leaving out somebody, but not too bad there. Still, though, leaves much to be desired. He's probably going to have to be expected to provide some offensive relief even in his rookie season. This team won't score a lot of goals. I can probably guarantee that. And hard work is going to pay off for fans, and they're going to love that. But, you know, again, this expansion team is going to be weird. But he has pretty good odds of playing on this team. Remember, 83% of players selected from 2011 to 2020 played the same year they were drafted. And for forwards, that number shoots up to 88%. The odds are good, and luckily for him, he's not going to a normal team that is picking in the top three. The reality is, you know, this team wants him to play. I'm sure he wants to play, but they're not going to be dumb about this. But Beniers is going to be expecting some crazy attention from the fans. Even with growing fans, I think that this is a big pick that they're going to buy into. They're going to want to buy his jersey. This is going to be the hot-selling jersey in Seattle. And I don't know. It's crazy because somebody like him that is so young, he's 18 years old, I believe, just like Owen Power, they're going to have to be expected to be a star right away. That's a lot to shoulder, but we're going to have to see where this goes. The fans have anxiously waited for this moment for a while now, and it's all about to be wild for that first game in Seattle. Now, do I have some worries for Matt? Yeah, everybody's going to have worries about these guys. Playing at a high motor or with a high motor is a concerning thing. It's not a bad thing, just a concerning thing. Because doing so at the pro level is different, different, especially in an 82-game season. Will the fatigue wear on him? That's going to be something we have to keep an eye out for. And his weight could be an issue. He's listed at 6'1 and 174 pounds. This seems a little light. By no means am I a professional athlete. I'm 5'9 and weigh about 190 pounds. So, like, I think that just adding a little bit of weight would be a good idea as long as it doesn't cost him his speed. He's young. He's still growing. So the weight will probably change. I believe that... Will he play for Seattle this year? I'm not sure. I think if him or Power decide to return potentially, the other could fall suit for development. 
But Beniers played a, you know, a good season last year. He wants to go back and have a normal season and try to win a national championship. Will that happen? I don't know. I could see him going to the Kraken simply because of the Delta variant, which is new or, you know, going around the nation, seems to be possibly taking away the normal season atmosphere. So this could be a big, big reason that he changes his mind, though. Overall, though, I love this pick by Seattle and hope for the best for him. Will Beniers play for Seattle this year? Let me know. And will he play a top six role? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I apologize if my voice sounds weird. It's just a little worn out. And that's that for that. But yeah, everybody stay safe. Have a great day. You go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.